I'm Jennifer Vogel with Your Town TV. A very successful day today with our travelers. I'm here with a very important guy from the Bay Area of Houston. This is our mayor of Pasadena. How it went today for you guys? It went great. We, we visited eight different congressmen and senators, and uh, we told them that what we're really concerned about with the funding cut with NASA is, number one, jobs, obviously, uh, throughout the United States, and number two, the future technology that we'll be missing out on. And then number three, national defense. We cannot afford to go to the space station with Russia or China being our only source for getting there. We cannot allow that to happen. Another leader in the Bay Area of Houston, one of our county commissioners, and this is Sylvia Garcia. Tell me a little bit about being here today. How did your first meeting go? Well, the meetings are going really great. The response has been good. I think um, this country knows the importance of human space exploration. I think that's reflected in some of our visits this morning. I think everyone is very cautiously optimistic that we'll be able to, to change some of the proposal uh, that the president has presented. Joining me, Gary Ranola, the mayor of Seabrook. Obviously, this is very important for our local leaders in the Bay Area to be here. What's your experience been like so far? It's really been uh, very surprising. Uh, we had a uh, the team I was on had a lot of uh, congressman from New Jersey, so that's pretty far away from, from Texas and Florida. And there really is an underlying support for NASA. They have a very good reputation. And so I felt really excited that, it, you know, it doesn't, the fight's not over. I'm here with Mike Sullivan. He's on the city council in Houston District E, which is, of course, Johnson Space Center. How important is this for you to be here representing Houston and the Space Center? Well, I've been before. It's a great trip, and I'm here this year with some special endorsement, if you will. Mayor Anise Parker has charged me with representing the city's interests on city council on all NASA-related issues. So not only am I here representing my council district and the 200,000 people that live down there that rely on NASA directly, I'm also representing the mayor and the city of Houston on this trip. Including NASA Bay, Mr. Brad Bailey and Mr. Swafford, why is it so important for you guys to actually be here on this trip? Uh, Nassau Bay, you know, being right across from the Johnson Space Center, we have a lot of jobs and a lot of uh, subcontractors and uh, residents that work for NASA and, and support NASA, and uh, it's a big part of our economic base, uh, not to mention our whole region. And, uh, you know, we're here to support and, and kind of talk NASA up and how we can help and, and what NASA's brought to, uh, to our world as far as innovations and, and creations and uh, successes. Uh, one of the things that this trip has uh, convinced me of is that it's, it's not just Nassau Bay, it's not just the state of Texas or the United States, it's the world that needs this. And uh, we've got to do something to keep space exploration and human space exploration going. 